Okay, so this is going to be a very quick and dirty intro to using Zoom to record a lecture. Um, so first of all, you actually need to get a copy of Zoom. Um, so let's have a go. Um, open up your preferred browser. Um, I would recommend that you actually put in whatever your university name is first. So for me, it would be UNSW. Um, zoom and then click on that um, and that'll take you uh, directly to your education institution license for the zoom so if you don't have um, access to uh, a university um, uh, resource like this um, you can just go directly uh, to zoom so type in uh, zoom download and it'll take you to the zoom main page and the thing, um, for example, here for the UNSW, what you want to do down the bottom here, you want to download the meeting client. So that will give you the app um, that you can then access um, on your computer. So I'm not going to bother downloading that, but um, your, uni uh, your university is going to have a different interface um, than the one that you just saw. Um, but at the end of the day, you want to have a Zoom client for meetings. It's all you need. So let's just quit out of that. Yes, okay, hold down. Now, um, the Zoom icon, I've put it down at the bottom here to make it as small as possible for you. Anyway, so click on that. Now, here's where you will need to make a decision. Um, you'll need to sign in. Now, if you've got the free download basic package, I'm actually using the basic package um, now, um, you would have signed up um, and you would put in your details here. If you're using a, the, the, uh, the client through the university, um, you want to click on sign in with SSO, you type in your university um, name, click continue, and in my case, it will take me directly to the UNSW page um, where I will enter my details. Now I'm going to do that offline. I'll just pause the recording. Okay, so now we're back. So what has happened is I've logged in and it's requested to open the app that you've now downloaded. Um, and you'll be uh, faced uh, with this. And all you need to do is just click on uh, New Meeting and it will go directly to uh, this format, it will go into the full screen mode depending on how you put it set up. You don't want it in full screen mode for the moment. You want to join with computer audio. Um, and so this is just you. Obviously, I can get rid of that out in the corner. Um, now, to uh, share your screen, so I'll, I'll share the main screen that we've got here. Um, click on this. I've got two screens. I've got another computer over here. This is the main screen. Um, this is the one I want to show you. Click on that, click share, and you'll see that there is hopefully a green box around the screen so that you know that this is the one that you're recording with. I've disappeared up in the corner here, and I can move myself around. I can also make it bigger. Um, now, I've already got, so for recording a lecture, all you need is to then open your slides. I just happen to have got mine here. Um, and uh, just click on, and you'll see that um, I've gone to this interface. I'll, I'll just swap the... Uh, um, move this out of the way, unfortunately. The zoom has covered... There we go. Right, so we got that. It's a bit labor intensive. Okay, so now you can see that you've got the slides up. Um, for some reason, I've gone to the very so this is the top the title slide of my lecture, and then that the next one, and so on and so forth. Now, what you want to do is you want to record. Now, here's the trick: this window where you can see me speaking, um, this you can move around and you can. Uh, resize, that's the smallest, and pop yourself down in the corner here. Um, my recommendation would be to uh, position yourself somewhere 
opening up big so that the students can see you. Um, this is all good. We are now ready to record. Um, click in the more, go down to record, click on that, and the only way that you can tell that your apps has started to record is this tiny thing up here. Um, now, here's the thing about Zoom. It is so easy to forget to record. So, remember, 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 record, record, record. Trust me, you use Zoom enough, there is going to be a time that you've forgotten to do it. You've just lectured for half an hour to an hour and you've got no copy of it. Just been talking to the air. Alright, so we are actually recording. We are actually in our uh, live mode. I've got um, this up on the screen here, but this is just because of the way I've got the monitors uh, figured. You should be able to um, have your slides on a different monitor, for example, and you'll have the control bar at the top here on the separate computer, so students wouldn't be able to see this. So I would, and this is basically it, so you're now recording. I would um, start off saying, um, hi, I'm Terry Ord um, from the University of New South Wales, and I'll be giving a guest lecture on forming ecological communities. And then I'd uh, resize myself to be a bit smaller, Okay. Practice makes perfect. Trust me, after you've done this, um, your cells will find that you can actually figure this out a lot more quickly than I am here. And then you can just click through your slides, yucking away, and the students can see you down here in the bottom corner. Um, the thing about this uh, inset is that obviously, uh, if you have anything down in that lower corner, um, you're not going to see it. Um, so you may actually have. Uh, some slides where you may have to reposition yourself up to the top here. Alright, so that's all good. Now we can actually um, go into the more menu, uh, stop recording. Now we've stopped recording the lecture. We just need to stop sharing. Then it logs out and we're back to our main interface. And you can simply just um, uh, Either, you'll see in the background here, you can either quit out of Zoom. We'll, we'll try this one first. Um, you can open up that and you've got your Zoom files here. You just need to click on one of those and it will ultimately start to convert. Let's try a different one. Indoor meetings. Now, here you see the thing that we've just recorded has been converted, so that was the Zoom files we were just seen before. It's now been converted into an MP4 file, um, which can then upload to, say, Dropbox or whatever platform that you wish to share with, um, and should be accessible. So now it's automatically opened that folder that I had over here. Double click on this. Press play. And the only way that you can tell that you actually started there to you go. It's pretty easy. It's kind of nice.